Greetings everyone, this is Mr. Mall, and this is the last phase of my nomenclature rule series. Today we're going to be looking at turning a chemical formula into a name for an acid or acids. So the first thing we need to realize is that acids are always going to be containing only nonmetals. They always start with H. Uh, H at the beginning is saying that H plus is the cation. Uh, and the acids come in two flavors. If they have oxygen, we're going to call them the oxyacids. If they don't have oxygen, we're going to call them the hydroacids. So I'm going to show you an example, a couple examples of each today. So first off, I want to start with the oxyacids. Hence the name, they have oxygen in them. Um, this also means you're going to need to be looking at your polyatomic ion sheet. Uh, we need to identify which anion hydrogen is paired up with. That's the very first thing. It will end in eight or eight. Once we've done that, we need to change the ending um, and then we're going to add the word acid at the end. So I'm going to look at this first compound, uh, H2SO4. So I look at what H is paired up with, and I see that it's SO4. So I'm looking at my polyatomic ion sheet, trying to find that polyatomic ion. I find it. It's sulfate. It ends in ATE, which means sulfate, looking over at the right here, I'm going to change the ending to sulfuric acid. Eight goes to ick. I ate something icky. I ate some icky oxyclean and got the itis. So that eight is going to change to ick. So there's no hydro here for oxy acids. It's just going to start with the uh, the base word, which is sulfur, and it's going to be sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. We changed the ending. Eight went to ick. Uh, it's not going to be sulfic acid. Sulfur is one of those weird uh, elements that we just have to remember keeps that whole name when we change the ending. Sulfuric acid. Let's do another example. H2SO3. I look and I see oxygen in here. I know it's an oxy acid. So whenever I have oxy acids, I think I ate to mix the icky oxyclean and got the I to us. So I look at what hydrogen is paired with. It's SO3. I look at my polyatomic ion sheet. I find it. It's sulfite. So I look at the ending, sulfite, and I eat something icky. I got the ite us. That ite ending is going to change to ous. So instead of being uh, sulfite, we're going to change that to sulfur. Then we're going to change the ending to ous. Sulfurous acid. And there we go. Um, just remember, oxy acids are never going to start with hydro. If you have oxygen, no hydro. Let's do another couple examples. We're going to go ahead and look at hydro acids uh, and give those a shot. So for hydro acids, um, we know uh, it's going to be a hydro acid because there's no oxygen at all. It's just hydrogen and some other piece, some other anion without oxygen. So we're going to insert the word hydro at the beginning, first step. We're going to identify the anion that we have present, what hydrogen is paired up with, and we need the root word, uh, the root word without the ending. So I look at H2S and I notice that there's S there. Now the anion of just S we would call sulfide. Sulfide. So we're looking at that root word, sulf, sulfur. So hydro, for this one here, hydro, we identify the anion root word and we give that root word the ick ending. So the root word is sulfur, and we change the ending to ick, hydrosulfuric acid. Hydrosulfuric acid, beautiful. You will never see hydro and that ending O-U-S. doesn't exist. Hydro always goes with ick. There's another little arrow there. Um, let's look at this next example. Hydro, uh, HBr, so I look at what hydrogen is paired up with. It's paired up with Br. So I'm going to insert the word hydro at the beginning. I know to do this because there's no oxygen. So I know it's a hydro acid. Uh, hydro means no O. Hydro, no O. OK, uh, HBr. We're going to look at what bromine, the anion root word is. There's bromine is the element. When bromine is an ion, it's called bromide. It's a regular nonmetal ending changes to IDE. So we have bromide, and we're going to change that ide ending to ick. So hydro bromic acid. 
just kind of inserting that root word there. So this is how we name hydroacids. I hope that this was helpful. This is the last one, uh, and thanks for stopping by.